Nope, hardly anybody's been down this trail. Nobody has. That's why I said, is that, is that right? Now, I, the only thing I was thinking of, is this trail closed? <laughs> but I figured, ah, oh, good spot to get a panoramic picture, take a leak, have a coffee. Look at that freaking tower over there. Holy shit! I know! No, oh, I tell you. This slut is fucking awesome, Bob. Oh, I Fucking awesome. You want to sell it? <laughs> I've, I've been thinking to myself, it, it, it seems squirrely at first, but I, I think you just got to get used to a different sled always. I yeah. think every new, every different Especially sled you ever get on feels squirrely. Squirrely with that studded track. Huh? With that studded track. I can fucking lift the skis now oh, in yeah. sport. Holy shit. <laughs> I couldn't oh, fucking yeah, believe it. Freaking, it does. That's got, and if, I think it's, and you could, you could even lift them more to change the box setting. Oh, I bet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I got mine set so it doesn't lift the skis. I'd rather have it. What I don't think, and I think there's, I, mine just squats so much. And I don't know why. Wow. That's why I tightened it up the other day when we were riding in Old Forge. And. And that I thought I would loosen it up a touch. I read an article last night by a guy named Machine Head. Yeah. Oh, there's a road up there. Interesting. And um, he said that when you adjust the torsion spring, the far back torsion spring, you're not increasing the spring's ability to spring uh, heavier. It's not, you're not changing the heaviness of the spring. All you're doing is you're setting where you sit, where the sled sits no. when you get no. on it. No. It doesn't that's increase the tension. That, that's the old slides. That was called drop down. Right. That sit, when you sit on the sled, it should go down an inch and a half. That was, a done, that was done by where you adjusted the back arm. The, but the spring tension is just what it says. Put more tension on the spring. I can sit here and show you. I can tighten this up and I can hardly move it. So the, the spring tension definitely, if I adjust this tension right here or put the block on that, that's got, not only does it have the air, but it's still got the block on the bottom to turn it. You know, the one, two, three? Yeah. Or two, three, whatever there are, two or three of them. Four. You got four settings. Well, you got two things. You got the red block, which is the coupling. Right. And then you got the that other. That has block. nothing to do with preload or anything at no, all. No, that's only got to do with if it, when you hit the gas, it locks it from going down. Right. So it doesn't lift the skis. Right. If you want to lift the skis, you make it soft. You turn that other way, and then it, what they call un, un something. Uncouple. Thank you. Yeah. Kind of what it does. He said that's what, that's all you really want to adjust that spring tension for is drop down. He said that's what it's there for. Well, what gives you your 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 softness of ride? The spring itself, he said. He said if, if you need to change the tension of the spring, he said don't don't change it by adjusting that. That's just a drop down. He said go to the fucking dealer and get a more powerful spring or a lighter spring. And I'm like, nah, really? Nah. I got I got to totally disagree with that. That's what he claimed. He said it's, it's a misconception. It's a common misconception to think that. And I had never thought that before. And I thought, hmm, I wonder if that's true. Just because he says it is doesn't mean it is. Mean it is. Right, right. Exactly. I've never, ever, ever heard that. And I can, and having these on the outside like this, now, I still have the block underneath. Okay? Yeah. So, so, when I adjust it over here, it definitely makes it, makes it stiffer. Did you see my head? I don't see that noise, but we got the other
Oh, yeah, I just cannot get over how much ass this thing has. Oh, yeah, that's it. I, I can't imagine not what the 900 surprised. turbo does. Um, I'm sure. There's no replacement for displacement, though. <laughs> There's a couple ways to go to Rushford. There was this way.